we meet again. <laughs> we meet again <laughs> for another for the second installment of <laughs> gay mukbangs. <laughs> Featuring Domino's. Domino's. Look at that. <laughs> Not sponsored. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. <sighs> oh my god, it looks so good. <sighs> the, the 20 subscriber channel is all is bound to get sponsored. Oh god. <laughs> in order to welcome in this delightful dining experience, um, we are discussing <gasps> Ander Perry! Like exclusively Ander Perry. Exclusively. And a little bit of cheeks. Yes. A little bit of cheeks. Yes. But mostly Ander Perry. Mostly Ander Perry though. Because, my god, my heart, my soul, my very being, <laughs> they, I did not have an OTP until Andrew Perry. Legitimately, I did not. I was like, oh, maybe Persa Beth, maybe, maybe something like that. But Andrew Watch Perry. Dead Poets. Dead Poets. Andrew There's Perry. So much gay subtext it's, in that movie. It's barely subtext. Okay, it's barely subtext. It's but like, it's like, they could make out and it wouldn't be gayer. Ex like, they it's could make right. out and it wouldn't be questioned by anyone. They'd literally, be like, well, literally. That movie is so gay. <laughs> it's so gay. Um, so let's just great. get right into it. I'm gonna pop open this ranch yes. dressing. Here's the thing about my boys, Neil and Todd. <laughs> Neil Perry and Todd Anderson. Um, they are two halves of myself. <laughs> they are literally me split into two different people. Yes. Which is probably why they're my OTP, because they just encompass my very being. They're such, like, a well-balanced couple. Mm -hmm. Like, like, Todd is shy, and Neil's outgoing, because he's an actor. Of course he's outgoing. Mm -hmm. um, so, but then Neil, like, makes Todd more outgoing. I have mentioned before, like, my three favorite scenes, which we just watched to hype ourselves up. Yes. Are, like, super gay, for one thing. Yeah. <laughs> but they also have to do with Todd's character development, which is, like, my favorite part of this movie. Oh, yeah. And, like, Neil is integral to those moments. Yeah. Two out of three of those moments. The other one is, you know, Keating. Unmanned flying desk set and the bedroom chase. Hello. Yeah. With the scene with Mr. Keating and Todd, Neil's there, and he's just in gay awe of Todd. Oh like, my God. honestly, that look, I was like, oh, he gay. I saw something on Tumblr that was like, my sister thinks I'm weird because I call the scene where Todd improvises a poem... Neil's gay epiphany. <laughs> oh, I love Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Freaking the movie, Dead Poets Society, itself. Fuck you, Dead Poets. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck Spoiler. whoever wrote the end. Tom Jesus. Shulman. Fuck you, Tom Shulman. Yes. Right up your ass. I was gonna <laughs> specify, you're probably Scottish. Because there's a bunch of Scottish shit in that movie. <laughs> but, oh, wait, you're probably German. Your last name's Shulman. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and apparently, like, in real life, mm. Ethan Hawke was more like Neil. <laughs> <laughs> and Robert Sean Leonard was more like Todd. <laughs> That's funny. So it's literally like the Sprouse twins. Mm. Because they said that, like, Cole is more like Zach and Dylan is more like right. Cody. Like, honestly, all the fan fictions I read about them, it's just so great. We're gonna get into that. We're gonna get balls deep into that fan fiction. <laughs> I was telling my sister the other day, because she was talking. She was talking about Stidia. Mm, yeah. And Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf. One of the few straight ships that I am down with. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so that's like kind of her OTP at the moment. And then I was like, well, mine is Ander Perry from Dead Poets, and she's like, yeah, that one, that one kind of ruined you, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you damn right. And then I showed her a GIF of. The pre-bedroom chase scene, where, where Todd's like, I can take care of myself just fine, alright? And he was like, no. And she was no. like, that face! That face! Oh, he checking you out. Every time I think about them, my heart just swells. <laughs> Let's pull up some fan fiction. Because I thought yes. we'd go a long time without the fan fiction, but we need the fan we fiction. We need the fan fiction, though. God bless all of the fanfic writers. <laughs> Oh, yes. Because they make this movie bearable. <laughs> Immediately after watching the movie, I went into all the fanfiction. On, and on AO3, anything tagged with major character death, you it won. was like it was like half of the Ander Perry stuff. And I was like, bitch, why do you think I'm here? Yeah. To be reminded of that? No. no. I'm here to live in the fantasy. Exactly. That Neil goes back to Walton, and he and Todd graduate, and they go to NYU or some shit. Uh. They love like nicotine. Oh, I think the first Andrew Perry one that I tagged was the ABO one. There ah. is 
one ABO fic for Dead Poets. Just one. Just one, but it's good. But yeah, it's like really good. It's like multiple mm-hmm. chapters and it's pretty good. I'm like, wow. And it's complete. Yeah. Thank God. Thank God. I would have died. Uh, <laughs> good boy, except in his parents' eyes. By <laughs> Miss underscore Super Who Avenge Lock Germany 06. Yeah. Tight. <laughs> <laughs> this work could have adult content. If you proceed, you have agreed that you are willing to see such content. Bitch! Bitch don't patronize me! <laughs> That's what I'm here for. So I decided to make this an ABO story because there needed to be at least one in this fandom. Yes. Yeah, this one's great. Yeah. Oh no, the napkin. Ah. My floor won't be protected from the grease. <laughs> the funny thing about this though, Todd is of course an Omega. <laughs> because Todd Obviously. is the most Omega person to have ever existed. Uh, Neil's an alpha and he's one of those low key alphas, mm-hmm. which I love. Yeah, he's yeah. like he, like um Lance from Ultron. Yeah. You know, one of those low-key fun alphas. Yeah, they're not like super macho or anything yeah. like alphas normally are. <laughs> yeah, Neil's not a macho. Yeah. Nobody yeah. in this movie is. Nobody, because <laughs> everyone's gay. So Todd's family is upset that Todd is an Omega, and so they send him to Welton. And they're like, you have to pretend to be an alpha or at least a beta. And I'm like... And wow. somehow he does pretend to be an alpha, and everybody just buys it, even though you I fucking... Know stutters all over the place and can't make eye contact and can't raise his voice around anybody. How do people believe that? Like, Neil kind of starts to not believe it, but that's because Well, he, yeah, like, he, like, starts, he develops feelings for him, and he's like, alphas don't like alphas. Yeah. What is this? Um, and they're like, you know, Todd might not be an alpha. And I'm like, oh, you think? Yeah, think? Gee, who would have thought? I'd understand if they believe that he was a beta. Yeah. Because, you know. He could maybe pass for one. Yeah. But an alpha? Really? Really, Todd? <laughs> Todd Anderson and alpha are antonyms. <laughs> yes. Oh, God, there's that one part when Neil's, like, inner monologue is, like, he he wanted to mark Todd as, as his own and, uh, and make him submit. And I was like, ah! <laughs> oh, I live for that. What's another good one? Oh, the one I tagged before this is the best non-smut one in all of Archive of Our Own. Can I borrow oh, some sugar? I remember this one. This one's oh, so this cute. one is so it's so wholesome. It's just like, so, like there's literally only one like <laughs> smut mention and it's just like a brief like two sentence fantasy that Neil that uh Todd has. Yeah. And other than that, it's so cute. It's very wholesome. It's like, so damn. cute. So like Todd's home alone. Todd is making a cake <laughs> for Charlie's birthday. And he doesn't have any sugar, so he goes over <laughs> to his neighbor's to his neighbor's house to get some sugar, and it's like love at first sight it in is. the best way possible. <laughs> it's just it's pretty great. <sighs> I'm like, damn. And it's raining cats and dogs outside, Aww. and Todd's like, I just could you just bring me the sugar? And Neil's like, get the fuck in get here. It's fuck. raining. It's He's raining. like, no, no, no. I can just wait outside. And he's like, no, you cannot. Yes, protected Neil. <laughs> When Todd's telling Neil about Charlie, and he's like, yeah, he's pretty eccentric. He even made us call him Nawanda for a, a time. And Neil's like, well, did you? And he's like, yeah, we love him. And Neil's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Neil's like, this is the greatest young man to have ever lived, and he will be mine. <laughs> and he will be mine. Oh, man, there's just one. I don't know if you sent it to me or I found it on my own. And probably you sent it to me, but it was like, Todd's parents forgot him at, like, a gas station or something mm-hmm. and so he has to call neil and be like hey can you pick me up my parents forgot about me or they just left me at this gas station <laughs> and neil's like the fuck my poor baby <laughs> I'm like oh todd no fuck you mr and mrs anderson yeah God. and mr perry and mrs perry just fuck all the parents you know oh no <laughs> oh the fake relationship au it hasn't been updated since September. No. This is the one where Todd has like an abusive ex. Neil's at a party and he sees Todd and his ex mm. like Fighting. Having, yeah. having a dispute. So then Neil steps in to defend him. Yeah. And gets his ass beaten. <laughs> oh, and then he's in the hospital. And then I find out Todd's going to Welton and he and Neil are going to be roommates. But then they find out. I remember this one because they mm-hmm. find out that the ex is actually going to go to Welton. And I'm yeah. like. So Neil's like. He's going to be my boyfriend. Um, yes. My fake boyfriend. My fake boyfriend, huh. obviously, you know. Of course. Oh my god, man wakes after surgery hits on his own husband. <gasps> oh my god, I remember this. I love this one so much. Are you I'm a nurse? nurse? Did the doctor send you? No, I'm here for my husband. Neil's brows shot up. 
husband, one of them? <laughs> he gestured vaguely to the door. Grin spreading. Todd shook his head. Those are our friends. Neil finally took a second bite of his cracker, a contemplative expression on his face. Slowly it dawned. Hold on. Are you my <laughs> husband? Asked Neil. Todd was gratified to see the brunette's usual energy starting to peek through. Yes, but Neil, you need to eat. Gosh, a gorgeous guy <laughs> like you? You're really mine? A laugh, yes. God, you're so sweet looking. <laughs> How did I get so lucky? You can blame Chris. Blame? You'll have to introduce us so I can thank him. She gets that from you every Thanksgiving dinner. As I was saying, the doctor will be here soon. Eat. Neil did so, but kept casting his eyes in Todd's direction. <laughs> Have we kissed yet? He questioned after another near bite. Todd almost wished the guys were still here to see this. To Neil, he just grinned. I think you should kiss me, Neil told him. So <laughs> I don't forget. <laughs> Good to see you forward as ever. <laughs> Wait, what's your name? <laughs> Todd. Todd Perry. Todd Perry. <laughs> And it's so cute. It's so pure. The Broken Bed Fiasco! fiasco. <laughs> How? I don't know. How? I, I just said I really don't know. Todd? Yes? How? Neil, please don't ask me again. I honestly don't know. <laughs> Todd's bed had broken. <laughs> yeah. So, of course... Bed sharing. Oh God, and I think not now. Yeah, Todd wakes up with morning wood. With morning wood. And Neil also has morning, morning wood. Because, <laughs> you know, they're boys. They're hormonal teenagers. That's what happens all the time. I don't know how penises work. <laughs> oh, asexual Todd mm -hmm. steps into the great unknown. It's when Todd's ace, but he doesn't know what that is. Aww. And he feels all weird about it. And it's so cute. There's like one part where he and Neil are like making out. And Neil starts grinding against Todd, and Todd, like, freaks out, and he's like, I can't do it, I'm a terrible boyfriend. And Neil's like, what the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean? You're not a bad boyfriend. And he's like, look, I just don't like that stuff, and I'm sorry. And Neil's like, I'm not prioritizing my sexual needs over your health. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ah. And then Neil's Beautiful. the one who finds the word asexual, like, in a dictionary, and he's like, Todd, I found it! I found it! <laughs> Forbidden fruit! So a lot of people Damn. in the Dead Poets fandom will like write original poetry for the characters to have. And a lot of it... <sighs> not good. <laughs> but this one, Forbidden Fruit, is uh. so good. Um, basically Todd's writing a dirty poem and Neil is trying to practice lines for Midsummer Night's Dream. Mm -hmm. And Todd like hides the poem in the script. And he does something to annoy Neil, so then Neil takes his script and takes the poem. Uh -huh. And um, and then he sees the poem. His dimpled grin and tameless heart arise in me a darker part. In dreams only have I heard when he speaks those fe fevered words. I want thee in me forbidden fruit, else I'd take another root. Your marrow, oh, I long to suck. Mine alone, mine, mine only part. <laughs> and then he just, you know, just casually. Casually <laughs> drops that. Sexy Shakespeare, I'll whip thee, thee with, with a, a rod. rod. He is defiled that draws a sword on thee. And you know, they catch you to start making out. Good like, job, Peter Pan. Oh, <laughs> Neil gives Todd a blowjob. Yeah, so, you know. So, there's that. <laughs> Inside the hush. Huh. Huh. I'm not ready. I've been holding this ranch cup this entire time <laughs> like this. Oh god, this is the best smut I've ever read. I don't think I've read this one. Honey! <laughs> um, so the first chapter, Todd wakes up and Neil's masturbating. Oh, fuck! And then second chapter is Todd wakes up and feels something. Uh. <laughs> Neil is grinding him in his sleep. <laughs> And it's the greatest thing ever. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh damn. Neil continued to to move against him, whimpering against his spine. Oh. Ah! Todd's always damn. the little spoon. He is. He is, though. He's just a little spoon kind of guy. Oh god, so he's grinding Todd in his Asleep. sleep. And then the one word he says is, is Todd's Todd. name in, yep. his sleep. in his sleep. And Todd's like, oh, oh you fuck. So then Neil wakes up and goes to cleanse himself of his sins. And... Oh, please, just forget it ever happened. Oh, God. I can't. Please, I don't want to. Ah! Todd, I can't lose you over this. Ah! <laughs> He's like, so, uh, 
you said my name in your sleep. And he's like, just forget it. Just forget it's, it. It's it's nothing. It's it's whatever. Todd's like, but I want you to. Do, uh, I was like, Ugh. I'm saying. Oh, God, this line. I don't want you to think about <laughs> anyone else. You're not kidding. Uh, I've got to be dreaming, Neil said. I never get the things, things I, I really, really want. want. <laughs> Blow jobs and hand jobs. Mm. And grinding ensue. And it's just... <laughs> The cure for what else, yeah. <laughs> Andrew Perry at a party, and a Perry, Perry getting gets smudged. smudged. The Society Cafe! Do you remember this one? I don't know. This one is so cute. So it's a coffee shop AU. Mm. Of course. Of course. And so Keating owns the coffee shop, and like Neil and Charlie and Todd work there. And Meeks is a frequent customer. Ah. Neil like falls in love with Todd on like the first day of work. Oh. Because Todd comes in with like a whipped cream dispenser, and he's like, Charlie, you gotta deal with this customer. I'm about to gouge her eyes out. <laughs> um, and Neil's like, who's that? <laughs> and Charlie's like, yeah, good luck getting him to act like that again around you. He's <laughs> he's real shy. Or shy boy. So it's like a two-parter thing. It's not like chapters, but it's okay. a two-parter thing. The first part... I think you did yeah, send me yeah, this yeah. one. Yeah. First part, Neil and Todd get together. Second part is they're dating, but Charlie misinforms the, uh, Neil... That if Keating finds out about their relationship, he's gonna, like, separate their shifts so they don't oh. see each other during work, uh, for some reason. <laughs> and so then Charlie's like, listen, I'll flirt with Todd so you won't <laughs> think you're in a relationship. Okay, Char Charlie says finally, heaving the tray into his arms. I can't promise you're going to like my, my methods. Actually, you're probably going to hate them. I'm sure I won't. I'm going to flirt with Todd a bunch so Keating won't think you're together. No! You are not flirting with my boyfriend. Aw, are you officially boyfriends? Precious. So Charlie brings Todd some coffee, and he's like, Hey Todd, I thought you might be a little thirsty. Oh, thanks. Eggnog latte? Well, you know, I do like you a latte. <laughs> No, really, I just wanted to espresso my feelings oh. and let you know that you're absolutely brutiful. Careful, don't let Ginger Cutie hear you flirting with me like that. Alas, Stephen's already spoken for. No, he's not. He asked me yesterday if you were single. Neil can practically hear the brakes <laughs> slamming in Charlie's <laughs> head. I, wait, what? But, but his... <laughs> That's his roommate. I guess they're just cuddly after all. I guess your non-traditional friendship dreams came true. Oh, he seemed super disappointed when I told him you weren't working yesterday. Just FYI. Charlie sinks further back into the armchair, <laughs> staring off into the middle distance and then directly at Neil. Sorry, bro, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> just abandon his mission. Oh man, I love it. Charlie is such a slut. <laughs> and now for Tumblr. <laughs> yeah. And Lava Cakes. Yay! Hey. So, oh, note man. to future self, we are looking at the glorious gif of <laughs> Neil taking off his glasses. <sighs> Damn. God. Look at that right there. Damn. <laughs> These two! <laughs> They're so cute! They are beautiful. He's everything to me. He's everything. Oh, uh, bless your heart, bless. a flying dusk set. You're... Yes. <sighs> you interpreted that correctly. Oh my god, the dead poet's... Valentine's Day card. Wow, Meeks in the streets, freak, freak in the sheets. Hey, you done a pink. Cut. You down to puck? Ooh, you can, can choke on my bone. It's God. He says you should go out with that me. That one's my favorite. I love that it's one. It's God. He says you, you should, should go, go out with, with me. me. Hey, little mama. I want to pursue you relentlessly, despite you explicitly telling me you're uncomfortable with it and embarrass you at a school in front of all of your friends and maybe kiss you when you're passed out from drunkenness right in front of your jock boyfriend, who is kind of an asshole, but that still doesn't give me any right. And then I'll hold your hand and imply through cinematography that we end up together, I guess. I don't really know who you're supposed to root for in this irrelevant subplot. Anyway, date me or I won't leave you. You and your hotter boyfriend alone, like ever. Oh my god. Matt. It's so true! Ah! Ah! This is what I showed my sister yesterday. I can take care of myself just fine, alright? No. What do you mean, no? No. <laughs> <laughs> that little smile! Robert Sean Leonard, I have many questions. <laughs> Give me a heterosexual explanation for that. Give me a heterosexual explanation. There is none. Gay people were invented in 1989. Yes. Oh god, do it for him. Oh. It is my god-given god bisexual, bisexual right, right to be dramatic. dramatic. There's too much anxiety in this little body of mine. Dude, me. Me right there. Oh god. Me too. Whatever though, it does, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs>
Would you fuck a ton of yourself? It's basically the same as masturbating, right? It's so no big deal. deal. It's not the same as masturbating. It'd be like having sex with your twin. Wrong and, and bad. bad. I totally fuck my clone because I want to know if I'm good in bed. I don't want to fuck my clone because my self-loathing is that strong. Me? I don't want to fuck my clone because it would be gay sex and I'm not gay. <laughs> I would not have sex with my clone because what if my clone is evil? I fuck my clone because who would know better how to fuck me than me? Not only would I have sex with my clone, I'd probably make a bunch of clones and get it on with all of them at once because that's how pro clone oh, fucking okay. I am. No. <laughs> it's so fucking accurate to all of their characters. It is. It's oh, nothing like a distinguished gay and a disaster gay. <laughs> Oh yeah, until I did something amazing, Neil. That's my boyfriend. Your husband, Neil. Neil. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this one. I know it wasn't supposed to be funny, but the scene in DPS where Charlie wakes up Todd to tell him about Neil always makes me laugh a little because of how Todd just looks at Charlie and sighs like, Oh Charlie, Charlie it's too Charlie early for, for your bullshit. bullshit. Like Charlie waking up Todd crying was a regular thing. thing. I am proud to say I identify as a moron sexual. I am attracted to dumbasses and dumbasses dumb only. only. <laughs> Sometimes someone once asked me what the Spanish word for tortilla was, and now I dream of kissing them under the moonlight. <laughs> Meeks, what's the la Latin word for Latin? God, Nuanda, you're so fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Oh my god, this. Mm. This. This is so true. Awful good. Neil and Todd, neutral good. Mix and Charlie, chaotic good. <laughs> my alignment is neutral good. Nice. Neil and Todd are my OTP. Damn! It was meant to be, man. Hello. Anyway, I'm rewatching Dead Poet Society, and like the number of times Dalton says something bossy to Meeks, and Meeks always replies, Yes, sir! and complies immediately. Like, we always talk about how Neil is blatantly in love with Todd, but no one ever mentions how much of a slut Meeks is for Dalton. It's so true. It's true. Meeks, door, closed. Yes, sir. Meeks, put your coat down. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm not gay, but I... S <laughs> I'm not gay, but I'd suck your dick if you asked. What? What? <laughs> he says he'd suck your dick if you asked. <laughs> My... <laughs> Do it. My sexuality doesn't define me. Hey, how are you? Gay. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm not making this up. Neil did climb onto Todd's bed while saying for the first time in my whole life, I know what I want to do, so... Ah! Surely there's more dead poets. Of course there's more dead poets! Names have called Neil Perry. <laughs> my son. My baby. My beautiful boy. An, an asshole. asshole. <laughs> a fucking idiot. Handsome. Really fucking handsome. A terrible liar. Mm -hmm. A goddamn terrible liar. Todd Anderson's soulmate. Todd Anderson's one true love. Todd Anderson's. Todd Anderson's. <laughs> he would so wear a t-shirt that's like, if found, return to Todd, Todd Anderson. Todd Anderson, yes. I heard one in four people are gay. That means at least one person in my friendship group is gay. I hope it's Todd, because Todd's cute. <laughs> ah, yes! God, babe, you're so valid. <laughs> that's literally them! That is. Todd. Todd Anderson. Todd. Anderson. God. I didn't know angels could fly so low. Here, have my left kidney. No, wait. Both of them. You deserve it all, Todd Anderson. <laughs> I'm kind of fucking mind-blowing that people see the look Neo gave Todd after he read the Madman poem. People are like, ah, oh, yes, a straight boy, very heterosexual, and loves girls. <laughs> it's so true. They don't even try to make them straight in the movie. They, they literally don't. don't. There's never any indication that they're, Neil and Todd could possibly yes, like girls. they're all, like, gay as fuck, like, honestly. <laughs> My heart aches every second Neil's not with me. He just went to the bathroom. He'll be back soon. Every... Single second. <laughs> Does anyone have a spare pen I can use? Here, take mine. Thanks. I would die for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, that's it for Tumblr. Yeah. As far as Ander Perry is concerned. And then of course <laughs> <laughs> and of course I was about to wipe this on my pants, and that is literally the worst possible thing I could do in this situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we can briefly talk about Charlie and Meeks, who are so canon. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're great. They're a great opposite to track it. Just like Neil and Todd. Yes. But then Charlie's, like, crazy and Meeks, like, is the most normal person in the group, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. Other than Pitts. Wouldn't would you say. agree? <laughs> Wouldn't you agree, Pua? <laughs> <laughs> They're wonderful. My friend's coming over soon. <laughs> it is. 12.54. We gotta go! We gotta go! Alright. Apparently we're going on a nature walk or something. I, I don't <laughs> fucking know. <laughs> so thank you. Carpe that ass. Carpe that ass. <laughs> yes. Live your best life. <laughs> Ander Perry for the win. <laughs> <laughs> Ander Perry. <laughs>